the time has come. We are finally here. The long-awaited series. I know some people. I, I have a lot of friends, all right? I have a lot of friends that were asking me about this series. My own grandmother was asking me about it. And this is a very, uh, w- what is the word? I guess special gaming series, to me at least, because this is the one that started us off on YouTube. Uh, really? It was last year. I think it was in October last year. I don't know. I'll have to go back and fact check that. But if I am correct, I think I started my YouTube channel on October last year around this time. And it was the first part of the game. And so that's going to be my excuse for why it took this long to get here. (laughs) No, but all jokes aside, in all seriousness, I've had to deal with a lot of stuff just in my personal life nothing bad it's just i've been really busy i got a puppy i was in indianapolis away from home and i didn't have much time but now i have time and this is one thing that i needed to get done before we do anything else and now that it is like the one year anniversary or close to the one year anniversary anniversary of this channel being started why not kick things off in the month of october with a spooky ish game you know this isn't like a scary game of any sort but like it is october so in the halloween spirit we're gonna go ahead and finish yes the last game of the walking dead so as you can see here i'm gonna have to import my save we're gonna import our save from the third game that we finished previously so we're gonna just import a local save so yes, I th- remember I told you guys I played the New Frontier twice. I played it once on my own and the second time on YouTube. So to keep everything in line with what we did on YouTube, I'm gonna pick save. Excuse me, I'm gonna pick save two here. The import was successful. Now what is gonna happen? When the dead started walking, I was small and alone. Until a man named Lee became my protector. Lee protected other people too, but he couldn't save everyone. Yup, this is where we were a year ago. We had to pick between Doug or Carly. You can never save everyone. The living were just as dangerous as the dead. A woman in our group named Lily lost her dad, and then she just couldn't cope. She took the life that Lee saved. side of the road. Lee taught me how to survive. He protected me as long as he could, but he got bit because of me. And even in the end, he was still teaching. This was one of the saddest um, (laughs) endings in the game. And I did fact check myself. Our first episode of this series came out on October 31st. So we're, you know, this series might end on October 31st, which would be very um, poetic. But yes, Lee did teach us a lot. But the one thing he did teach us was to always keep moving. And always keep moving as much as you can. Question. Ooh. I don't know why. Lee wouldn't make it. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. Yeah, this. I was almost in tears, man. I know the first time I played this game, it it tore me apart. He asked me to shoot him. Cause I killed him every time. And I did. I couldn't just let Lee I just. I met another group after that. I couldn't let him turn. Broken people, running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ, he made it. 
but the mom didn't. And I started to take care of him. But then, Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny. And without Lee around, I had to make the call. I couldn't. And Kenny killed Jane. It turned out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. Knowing what they'd done... We left him. I'd had enough. I took AJ and left them behind. Absolutely. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked. But I was wrong again. They took AJ from me. Said I was too young to take care of him. I thought maybe they were right. I said my goodbyes. I regretted it later. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope, I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He's all I have. And I'll protect him with my life, just like Lee did for me. That's crazy, man. We've come a long way, or at least Clementine has come a long way from that shy little girl who just, you know, stayed up underneath Lee all the time. But in classic fashion, this game is a series that adapts to your choices and the way you play. We got to keep that in mind because every decision will affect something later down or something later on down the road in this game. It won't affect the next game because this is the last game. Yes, sir. Best character in the game. AJ is big. What you doing there, goofball? Pretending we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves. <laughs> I don't like goofball. I'm too big for it. How about shit, bird? <laughs> So I guess you're all grown up now. Yep. Let me drive. I'm not letting you drive. <laughs> What's wrong? AJ? Hungry. Uh, there's a bag of chips, it seems, but I can't give it to him. This is a toy, a magazine. I feel like if I give him the toy, he might be offended. He just said he's all grown up, so here, take some, some here, grown up practice your material. But I don't wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Preheat oven. <laughs> Place cream, vanilla be beans into a saucepan and bring to a boy. Uh, on second thought, never mind. That's only going to make you hungrier. Uh, let me see what I... <laughs> hey there, Alvin Jr. It's me, Disco Broccoli. Word on the street is that you want to eat me. Is that true? Do you want to eat me? <laughs> Come on, Clem. I can't eat a toy. <laughs> oh man, my feelings are hurt. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> Here you go. About all we got. At least he didn't take offense to it. What about you? <sighs> go for it. We'll find something else soon. I believe you.
Clementine got big too. Well, she was, I don't know, she was kind of old in the last game, but she's she looks more mature, and her hair grew back because we cut it at the end of the third game. We gonna do it? Think so. Looks clear. We're doing it. He gets a little knife. That's cool. Get the toy. What is this? I'm gonna need the canteen. We need water too. Need need water. Yes, we need water. Bring the toy. Dang it. Find food. Right. <laughs> Let's find some food. I love how dramatic that just <laughs> find food. Read sign. Friendly? Friendly, ring the bell. What does it mean? It means the people here shoot first. Okay, um, when you see that icon, consider the consequences before doing it. Alright, consequences. If I ring this bell, it's gonna alert some of the other walkers. Like, 100%. Um, the other thing too is like, friendly ring bell. What if I'm a dickhead? I would still ring it so you come out unarmed and then I just pop you. And it's easy, it's, it's done. I'm not gonna ring it because I also think like that sign was put up during like the early stages of the apocalypse where there were more survivors and you know so i don't think that uh sign really applies to us anymore as it is more of a danger to ourselves with the walkers around than any potential human in this building so for that reason i'm just not gonna you see look at that if i would have rung that bell aj stay back if I ring that bell, this dude would have got up. Alright, go for the stun. Then the kill. We learned that in the second game. It's down. Still with me? Still here. No bites. Next, we get in there. RB to run. I'm pressing the left stick because that's what my instinct is telling me, but I guess RB is another way. Whoever used to grow things here is long gone. Hmm. Looks like that trash can is a point of interest. Or this barrel. What is that? Water? Sewage? drink man heck no bro i don't care how down bad i am well that's easy for me to say right because i'm not in a zombie apocalypse but maybe if i was in this position i would do it hmm interesting Possible hood ornament for, for like the car. That's cool. Monster trap. Oh, <laughs> it's not a trap. You swing on it. That's actually kind of sad when you think about it. You get in the tire and someone pushes you so that you go really high. 
Huh. I wanna try. After we clear this place. Yeah, that's actually kind of sad, because AJ was born during all of this, and so he looks at this and he just automatically assumes that this is a monster trap, or probably thinks that, you know, the world has always been like this. inside a new place we listen for monsters after that uh come on you remember we inside a new place we always check, check the, windows. the windows that's right check the windows to make sure that they aren't open so anything can just like get in there and if they are board them up you shouldn't look for a place to hide, you should always get out of there, because you would trap yourself. And then finding a way out is helpful, but Monsters. maybe not the first All thing you All tied do. up. They can't get us? No, they can't. Hmm. Windows are all boarded up. Choices determine what AJ will become. Security door. Hmm. Can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find something. I promise. So I'm gonna assume that these are the owners of this ticket booth and so my analysis was somewhat correct they probably had that sign up when they were alive well obviously they did but like you know it was probably when more people were alive too there's a note poison and the key but that's Please risky leave us alone this is what we wanted Poison. Did they give up? They wanted to leave this world together, holding hands in their own home. Will we have a home? We'll see. Yeah, so they poisoned themselves. Uh, I'll try. I got this open for luck. <gasps> That's not happening. Yeah, I mean, I knew that was in a, that was a given. You shouldn't Do just reach key? in for it. <laughs> mm, it's risky. Might be another way through that door. Let's look around. Let's be smart. That's right. Look at him. He, look at AJ. Look, look at AJ. Let's be smart. You were right. They ate well for their last meal. Inspect the jar. Beans! Homemade. Might be more where this came from. Okay. I know the game is pointing me in that direction to go there. But you know I need to see. Of course it doesn't work. It wouldn't be that easy, would it? <laughs> You're right, Clementine. You are right. I uh, can't go over there. No dialogue? <laughs> I can't go over there. Too small to crawl through. Well, for me. The key or the window. Those are our options. It's dark in there. Yeah, I'm not sending AJ through there. 
We should kill the monsters. I don't think Clem would either. They're not people. Well, they used to be people. And as people, they asked to be left alone. So what's best? I mean, I think it's best we kill the couple. <laughs> I'm not sending AJ into like unnecessary situations that could harm him because adults have done that to us in past games. I remember, well, Lee kind of had to do it in the first game, at the end of the first game. We had to do it in the second game when we were with uh, Kenny and Luke. And in the third game, we really didn't have to do it in the third game. But I know the first two games, they sent us in little small things just because we were a kid. And I'm not doing that to AJ. I'll get the key. I gotta value human life over Walker wishes, <laughs> you know? Come on. If you want to be left alone, this is a surefire way to make sure you'll be left alone. Good job. Thank you, AJ. Thank you. Cause I don't Sorry, know. I, had to go this way. I don't know what is behind that door, and I don't know how well AJ can defend himself either. So. Huh? They had a good thing going here. Can we stay here? No. We'll see. Absolutely not. No one's here. That don't mean they won't no be here soon. Anywhere. It's always just monsters. There aren't that many people left, kiddo. That's sad. How many did there used to be? Hmm. So many. Seven billion? <laughs> Just a few. Oh, he's a great Remember shot. What said? You know this. Never, Never hesitate. That's right. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta be something we can eat. Hope so. Yeah, you should never hesitate because if you're holding a gun, like somebody hot, or you're holding somebody at gunpoint and you're hesitating. They could get that bag on you, you know. Aiming for the head is important only for walkers. Sometimes you gotta aim for the knee if you had to decapitate a human. I don't think you should kill humans because there's not many of us left. Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, watch the swears. Hey, hey, hey. I meant shoot. Look. Huh. I mean, at a certain age, you know, it's okay to curse. But you at his age? A kid. Mm -mm. No. No, we didn't. Might be why they gave up. What else can I find? That's a that's an orange circle. That means some consequences are about to happen. Move the mattress. What if I don't want to? Something under here. Floor door? Huh, yeah. I must have wanted to hide something. No, that sounded like a. Okay, never That's mind. A lot of stuff. I was say that sounded like a grenade yeah, being pulled. It is. We could eat for weeks with this much. Well, no. close it. Close it's it. Rigged. Close it. <laughs> like, bro. 
I know a grenade when I hear. I know a grenade when I hear one being pulled, man. I played too many years of Call of Duty and just like you know games like that. I've heard that. I was like, that's a bomb. And then yo, same concept to the bell applies, just tenfold because it's a grenade, and we gotta get up out of here. Oh shoot. Need to get back to the car. You know what to do. Stick to the sides and be my eyes while I clear a path. Okay. Um, they're dangerous in groups. I gotta spread them, yeah, because if I got caught in this animation, <laughs> and the other one came up on me, it wouldn't be a good day. <laughs> it would not be a good day for me. Let's get to the car. I like the combinations you have to press now in the QTEs. Okay, um, what is this? This is a stick. This is a stick shift car. You gotta release the brake then. <laughs> I'm surprised she even knows how to, somebody had to teach her. The only reason why I know is because my aunt and my cousin, they drop a stick. <laughs> he got him. But we gotta finish him off. They're still in that dude's eyes. Was that a rock? A boulder? Jesus. It's like somebody is shooting them with arrows though. No, oh my gosh, we lost AJ again. 